Welcome to the Audio Design Desk Editing Tools and Controls Guide. AdApp has an abundance of key commands for editing tools and controls that will speed up your creative process. The numbers 1 through 10 and Shift 1 through 10 can be programmed to specific sounds or sound groups to be performed in real time. Option G places an empty sound effects marker and opens the magic marker window so you can quickly place a sound. It's the easiest way to find a sound effect in the moment you need it. G places an empty sound effects marker in your timeline. Command G groups regions together. This is useful if you want to move multiple tracks at once. Shift Command G ungroups the regions. Command Option T organizes your tracks. Often tracks can become disorganized. This key command places similar tracks next to one another. Option Command R fills any empty markers you've added to your timeline. Option Shift Command M removes all empty markers on your timeline. Some key commands can be used to control different aspects of the timeline. S solos your track or region. When something is soloed, it will be the only thing that plays. Press S again to unsolo the track or region. M mutes your selected regions or tracks. Muting makes it so you cannot hear anything on that region or track. Press M again to unmute. If you're in the audio editor, M places a marker. I creates an endpoint and O creates an outpoint in your timeline. This is useful if you want to bounce the selection of your composition. Command L creates a loop based on your in and out points. This is useful if you want to repeat a section over and over again. This isn't a key command, but there's also a master solo, mute, and lock right here. The next set of key commands give you control over AdApp's timeline tools. F is the fade tool. You can use this to add a fade in or fade out to your audio clips. If you want another way to add fades, shift less than adds a fade in on your selected clips, and shift greater than adds a fade out on your selected clips. E is the time stretch tool. The time stretch tool allows you to change the duration of a sound while maintaining pitch and sync. A is the arrow tool. The arrow tool allows you to select clips and move them around your timeline. C is the cut tool. The cut tool lets you trim the length of the sound and manipulate the divided parts as you wish. Command E will cut wherever your playhead is resting. Good if you want to cut a lot of clips at once. AdApp has many other key commands that allow you to work quickly. Spacebar plays what is in your timeline. The playing begins from where your playhead marker is resting. Return brings you to the beginning of the timeline if the timeline is selected. Return will also open the sound in the audio editor if you have it selected in the library. Option R replaces all of your sound clips in the timeline. Command R lets you randomly replace a selected sound based on your replacement settings. Command Up and Command Down will replace your clip with a longer or shorter clip. Command T turns on Global Tempo. This will adjust your clips to the BPM you have selected. Shift T will change the global tempo to the tempo of the selected clip. Option Up opens the magic marker of the selected region. Pressing Option Up again opens up the pool the region will use to randomize. Shift Left and Right nudges the selected clips left or right by one frame. Shift Up and Down increases and decreases the gain on whatever you have selected. Shift Return places a selected sound from the library into your timeline. Shift D will duplicate the highlighted clip. This is especially useful for loops. Shift-G brings up the mini effects library. You can add an effect or alter the gain, pitch, pan, or BPM. Shift-R brings up the mini library, where you can search for sounds to add or replace. This reveals similar sounds so you can quickly find the perfect alternate. Shift-L locks whatever track is selected. This is useful if you want to alter multiple tracks without affecting your locked tracks. Control shift a snaps the selected sound to the playhead. V reverses your selected clip or clips. Note that when you reverse a sound, the sync point stays the same. Command N creates a new track. Option Shift Delete deletes all empty tracks. Shift M freezes selected tracks. This is a handy way to compress multiple tracks and add effects to them all at once. Option Command M merges selected regions into a single track. Option M consolidates selected regions to a new track. 
Option Shift A aligns the selected sounds so they share the same sync point. Very useful for lining things up. Shift A aligns the selected sounds so they start at the same place. Control Shift A snaps selected clips to the playhead while maintaining spacing between clips. Command D divides stems on boundary markers. This will take the multiple sounds in the stem and separate them so you can move pieces of the sounds around. Option Shift up and down arrow will shift the pitch of the selected clips up or down one semitone. Command Shift up and down arrow will change the selected track. Option V will bring up the Paste Attributes window. You can select which copied attributes you want pasted onto the selected clips. Option F will add the selected sounds to your project favorite playlist. This is especially useful when narrowing down the right music for your video. Option Spacebar will play on your timeline starting with wherever your selected region starts. Hitting Option Spacebar again while the audio is playing will take the playhead back to where the selected region starts. Now that you know the key commands for Audio Design Desk, you'll be able to work quickly to make some incredible sonic creations. Thanks for watching.